All right, good morning, everybody. Again, happy Friday. We have a special treat today. We have our amazing fire chief from East Contra Costa Fire with us, Brian Helmick, this morning. And he's going to be reading a story that his own uh, family picked out for him to read. So I'm going to hand it over to him. Well, good morning. Uh, again, my name is Brian Helmick, and I'm your fire chief of East Contra Costa Fire Protection District. And I want to thank uh, Dr. Eden for letting me be here this morning uh, to be able to read and share you a story. I know that all of us are going through a lot of changes right now. And I know that homeschooling and just trying to adjust to the whole COVID-19 situation can be challenging. And I really hope that uh, this brief moment this morning, we can just have a little bit of fun and be able to read a book that my beautiful daughters, Brooklyn, Collins, and Adeline um, chose for me to read today. This is one of uh, their favorites. And so I hope that all of you enjoy it. So let's get right into it. So this morning, I'm going to be reading to you, What Time Is It, Mr. Crocodile? And it's done by Judy, Judy Sierra. And the illustration is done by Doug Cushman. Downtown, down by Bristlecone Bay, where the whipplefish play, Mr. Crocodile Esquire is planning his day. Things to do tomorrow. Nine o'clock, wake up. 10 o'clock, eat breakfast. 11 o'clock, swim. 12 o'clock, go to town. One o'clock, visit the library. Two o'clock, shop for food. Three o'clock, bathe and snack. Four o'clock, catch those pesky monkeys. Five o'clock, cook those pesky monkeys. And six o'clock, eat those pesky monkeys. At seven o'clock, read a story. And at eight o'clock, sing a lullaby to me. What time is it, Mr. Crocodile? Time to wiggle my toes, time to put on my clothes, time to brush every tooth till it sparkles and glows. What time is it, Mr. Crocodile? Time to start off my day at the Stingray Cafe with a barnacle bagel and a sea slug soupe. What time is it, Mr. Crocodile? It's time to plunge in the bay, time to splash, time to play, time to practice my crocodile water ballet. What time is it, Mr. Crocodile? It's time to roll into town, time to twirl round and round, time to skate right side up, or yikes, upside down. What time is it, Mr. Crocodile? It's time to take a look for a recipe book. Hurry up, hurry up, I've got some monkeys to cook. What time is it, Mr. Crocodile? It's time to shop where it's smart at the Crocodile Mart. How did all of these bananas get into my cart? What time is it, Mr. Crocodile? It's time to soap, time to dream, time to plot, Time to scheme, time to guzzle Coca-Cola and seaweed ice cream. What time is it, Mr. Crocodile? It's time to capture my meal as I sit at the wheel of my marvelous monkey collecting mobile. What time is it, Mr. Crocodile? It's time to cook. I'm too tired. I'm so, so uninspired because my plan to catch those monkeys completely backfired. What time is it, Mr. Crocodile? It's time to say I was rude with a bad attitude and I'd much rather have you as friends than as food. What time is it, Mr. Crocodile? It's time to read about Fred who bumped his poor head and the five monkeys that bounced on his bed. What time is it, Mr. Crocodile? It's time to sing a sweet tune neath the crocodile moon. Time to whisper, I hope that you'll be coming back soon. Down by Bristlecone Bay, where the whipplefish play, Mr. Crocodile Esquire is planning his day. The things to do tomorrow, Nine o'clock, wake up. 
10 o'clock, eat breakfast. 11 o'clock, teach. Monkeys to swim. At 12 o'clock, go to town. 1 o'clock, visit the library. Get good monkey stories. At 2 o'clock, shop for food. Lots of bananas. 3 o'clock, bathe and snack. 4 o'clock, play catch with those nice monkeys. At 5 o'clock, cook for those nice monkeys. At 6 o'clock, eat with those nice monkeys. At 7 o'clock, read a story. No bouncing this time. At 8 o'clock, sing a lullaby together. The end. Moral of the story, guys, it's always better to have friends than have enemies. So I hope that uh, throughout this time and when you get back to school, which we're all looking forward to, that you can have an opportunity to make friends and obviously having enemies isn't fun. So I do want to thank uh, Dr. Eden for providing this opportunity. And on behalf of all your firefighters at the East Contra Costa Fire Protection District, we thank you uh, for not only staying safe, uh, but staying healthy, but also uh, for staying home. So again, thank you for this opportunity, and I hope you enjoyed our story time. Wow, what a treat today. What a special guest reader we had. And uh, I hope you all have a fantastic three-day weekend. Just a reminder that Monday is a holiday, and we will be back on Tuesday at 9 in the morning with more Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. So I hope you'll join us.